Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today, I've got a very special guest, one of my closest friends and one of the most interesting people I've ever met, Tarima. Hi. Tarima's agreed to answer some of your questions so you can know what it's really like being a severed head. Fun fact, me and Tarima actually used to date not even that long ago. It was the best time. Yeah, it was, it was like three months. The best three months. <laughs> even fun fact, Tarima actually became a severed head shortly after we broke up, which was so fun to find out about on Instagram. So, do you want to give a bit of your personal background? Sure. Hi guys, I'm Tarima. I'm a head, clearly. I made the decision to become a head severed head a few months ago. I was going through some life changes and I saw this as an opportunity to start a new journey. I'm learning every day what it means to be a severed head, but so far so good. I'm loving it. Oh, before I forget, let's quickly post for the thumbnail. Oh, cool. I'll just scooch in a bit so that we're both in frame. <laughs> cool, do I just smile? Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> smile that pretty smile. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Your hair smells amazing, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so first things first, the most popular question. How do you function? What? You know, everyone's just really interested in, you know, how you breathe, how you eat, stuff like that. Oh, okay. Okay, how do you breathe? With my lungs. How do you breathe? No, I don't. I don't literally mean how do you breathe. I mean, you don't have to think about it. You just do it. It's a passive process. That's how it is for me too. I just, everything just happens. It all just works. Oh, okay. But, but how? You know, when you eat and drink, where does it go? You know, how does it pass it just your does. system? Okay, but how? <laughs> I mean, you know, what I mean is like, isn't there, a scientific explanation you know other than it just works because you know that's just not you know very helpful and i think everyone just you know wants to know how you're still alive don't you think it's a little invasive asking all these questions i'm sorry but i mean what else was i gonna ask you you know you're you're a talking head do you regret breaking up with me now that you're used to severed head what what? I said, do you regret breaking up with No. Me? No? No, why would I? No, that's cool. Emotions change and people stop being compatible. It happens. I don't think there's much more of an explanation other than I just stopped loving you. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Like, I, I don't even care, like, I'm not the one asking these questions. I'm I'm asking the questions that the public are asking. I don't, I'm, I don't care. Cool. <laughs> But like, don't you miss us? Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What's your favorite thing about being a head? Oh, I guess, I guess just how freeing it is. Right. You, I feel weightless, you know, obviously in the sense that I don't have a body, but also I'm not being tied down with all that comes with having a body. What do you mean? Well, first of all, no periods. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah, I know. No cramps, no spending an arm and a leg on pads and stuff, but also just not having to worry about what my body looks like anymore. I see. Yeah. You know, so many of our insecurities stem from our appearances and our, our bodies are a massive part of that. 100%. Everyone's always so critical about their bodies, you know, is my bum too flat, is my be belly too big? Just always trying to look like something exactly. else. Exactly. And I don't have to worry about that anymore love that for you now you can just like focus on your face and stuff not that there's anything to change you know like you're you're gorgeous like you know you're gorgeous <laughs> thank you like that was actually one of the first things i noticed about you when we first met i was like oh my gosh she's so pretty i love her <laughs> what's the first thing you noticed about me when we first met oh my eyes <laughs> smile i don't remember sorry <laughs> that's cool that's cool 
Does your condition affect your ability to form relationships? Oh, like friends and stuff? Uh, sh sure, but like more specifically romantic relationships. Like, like, does being ahead hinder your ability to find partners? Are you dating more or less now? Like, what what's going on there? Is this... It's just your way of asking if I've gone out with anyone since you. No, like, no, this isn't me asking. These are the public's questions. Like, this is what they want to know. Like, they... Um, Should I have you? <laughs> well, I'd be lying if I said it made finding a partner any easier. Yeah, because, like, you know, you don't have, like, boobs or a bum or anything. Okay. Um, anyway. Um... I guess a positive is that what you see with me is what you get. So it just lets people know what they're signing up for. Like, you know, this is me, take it or leave it. Yeah, that's cool. Weeds out the unserious ones. Yeah. But do you ever get them them weirdos? You know, the ones that are into... Into severed heads? Yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Absolute freaks. Ugh. They just offer the weirdest things as well. Like, they want to hold me, flatten their palms. What, like this? Yeah. You know, they want to touch the base of my neck and like look up into it to see what it looks like. Just, oh my God. Just weird, invasive stuff. Jesus. Right? <laughs> I had this one guy come up to me in a restaurant and ask me if he could put his fingers down my throat to see if they would come out of the bottom of my neck. Yeah. So messed up. I hope you called the police. Oh my God. That's actually someone that needs to be in no, prison. No, I, I know. No, I didn't. I just told him like, you know, get lost. This isn't a circus. Yeah, rightfully so. Guys, messed yeah. up. <laughs> Has anyone ever tried to pick you up? You know, like just put you under their arm like a footballer and run around. Yeah, and it's not funny. Uh, of course not. Yeah, I know. I know. People need to understand consent. You know, just because I'm ahead doesn't mean I want to be picked up and thrown around. Like, it's really disrespectful. I know, like, that's disgusting. I'm so sorry things like i'll let my friends and family to hold me and stuff but that's it like you wouldn't want a stranger putting their hands all over you either no one would no i get it i i 100 get it you know again i'm so sorry it's cool thanks so that's all the questions for today guys thank you so much Trima, for coming this has been really eye-opening uh no problem thanks for having me you know we should definitely hang out more after this like this is crazy like this is the first time i'm seeing you in ages yeah it's crazy well thanks so much for watching guys okay bye so uh, are you doing anything after this uh yeah i've got plans oh, that's cool it's cool me too um, but you know, I was like wondering, like, if your plans aren't solid, then we can like hang out. I don't out think that's a good idea. Find... Yeah, no, yeah, I agree. So, who are your plans with?